Hey there! Just want to show a little bit more of a detailed video on how the Tarango goes together and uh, how everything fits inside. So we're going to start by taking apart the case and get a better view of what's inside the Tarango. To begin, let's remove the eight screws on the back that are holding the back cover on. Then we can unscrew the TBS Crossfire antenna and slide it out the top, enabling us to remove the back cover. So once we remove the eight screws and the antenna, the back cover just pops off. There's nothing else holding it in place. And as we flip it over, we see there's really nothing on the inside either. Now we're going to remove the crossfire module, the video receiver, the antennas, and the batteries, which are all mounted on one shelf. And so we'll pop that out. There's two pieces of double-sided tape on the top left corner by the crossfire and on the top right corner underneath the diversity receiver. Once those are removed, we can pull it up and out a little bit, and then we can get to the main power lead, the XT30. We'll remove that. And then also underneath, we have the main crossfire wires. We'll unplug that, as well as the three pins for our ground, five volts, and video to our video receiver. We'll also remove that. We'll also need to disconnect the LCD from the TrueD diversity module. I have a four pin connector that I disconnected and that enable it to be remote mounted and removable on the face. Now let's take a look at the internals without the crossfire module and batteries. Here we have the five volt regulator mounted on the Tyrannus main board. Gives it easy access to other parts. And then also we have the main Tyrannus TX module. It's attached to the back of the LCD, and then the LCD control panel goes on top of that. And then right below that we have the Crossfire uh, JR adapter module. Once it's taken out of its case, it's actually quite small. Now if we look at our battery and Crossfire, the tray here also holds the video receiver. Really not much to it just provides a mount so we can attach everything to the face. Uh, kind of a mess here, but once it's in there, everything has a place to stay, fits nice and snug. Now let's take a look at a diagram I drew up that shows how the wires go from the Crossfire main board and bypass the JR module port and go directly into the Crossfire uh, JR adapter. So feel free to pause it here and see how everything goes. Now let's look at how the power for the Tarango operates. Uh, normally it has a momentary switch that enables it when you tap it, it'll turn on the, the Tyrannus. And so what we do to simulate that is a three position switch. Now the purple lines coming down out of the Tyrannus main board, it doesn't matter which way they're wired up as far as left or right pin. All we need to do is complete the circuit for a second by switching the switch to the left just for a second and then back to center. That simulates pressing the button once to turn on the Tyrannus, and to turn off the Tyrannus, you just hold it over there until the four blocks come up on the LCD, and then it'll vibrate and then switch back to neutral, and that's how you can turn it off. Now, for powering the whole system, normally what I do is I switch the switch over to the left position and then back to center to turn on the Tyrannus, and then turn it on, click it over to the other side, which then powers the 5 volt regulator, which turns on the DVR, the uh, LCD panel, and also the video receiver. So now let's take a look at the DVR switch and the video switch, how that works. Uh, as we see, when we put the switch in the upright position and the orange line, that enables the video to come from the receiver and directly to the LCD and halfway through it gets diverted also to the DVR so we can record the incoming FPV feed. And then if you want to review footage to watch a flight from the DVR, we flip the switch down to the purple side. We see now the live feed doesn't go anywhere, but now the purple or the recorded DVR is now being directed to the LCD. So now let's just take a final look at how the whole Tarango system operates. As we discussed with the switches, to turn it on, we'll take this switch, push it over for a second, back to the center. Now the Tyrannus module is powered on. And now over here, we are in our live video feed. We have our LCD on, our diversity screen is on. 
And if we go on the bottom, see this is where I've located the video switch. The way I wired it up, this switch is in the DVR to watch video. But if we flip it over here, you see now we're in live video. So that's how it works. Just take a look around. This is the white model that I made. And I think it came out pretty good. Looking forward to seeing what you guys make. Hope you have fun with it. Alrighty, let's power it off. So we hold it over, it vibrates, and it's powered off.